Relative imports for the billionth time. I've been here. This URL, this URL, Python packages, relative imports, Python relative import example code does not work, relative imports in Python 2.5, relative imports in Python, Python, disabling relative import. And plenty of URLs that I did not copy, some on so, some on other sites, back when I thought I'd have the solution quickly. The forever recurring question is this, how do I solve this attempted relative import in non-package message? I built an exact replica of the package on PEP 0328. The imports were done from the console. I did make functions named spam and eggs in their appropriate modules. Naturally, it didn't work. The answer is apparently in the fourth URL I listed, but it's all alumni to me. There was this response on one of the URLs I visited. Relative imports use a module's name attribute to determine that module's position in the package hierarchy. If the module's name does not contain any package information, for example it is set to main, then relative imports are resolved as if the module were a top-level module, regardless of where the module is actually located on the file system. The above response looks promising, but it's all hieroglyphs to me. So my question, how do I make Python not return to me attempted relative import in non-package? Has an answer that involves M, supposedly. Can somebody please tell me why Python gives that error message, what it means by non-package, why and how do you define a package, and the precise answer put in terms easy enough for a kindergartner to understand. Script versus module. Here's an explanation. The short version is that there is a big difference between directly running a Python file and importing that file from somewhere else. Just knowing what directory a file is in does not determine what package Python thinks it is in. That depends, additionally, on how you load the file into Python, by running or by importing. There are two ways to load a Python file, as the top-level script, or as a module. A file is loaded as the top-level script if you execute it directly, for instance by typing python myfile.py on the command line. It is loaded as a module when an import statement is encountered inside some other file. There can only be one top-level script at a time, the top-level script is the Python file you ran to start things off. Naming When a file is loaded, it is given a name, which is stored in its underscore name underscore attribute. If it was loaded as the top-level script, its name is underscore main underscore. If it was loaded as a module, its name is, the file name, preceded by the names of any packages slash packages of which it is a part, separated by dots, for example, package dots a package one dot module x. But be aware, if you load module x as a module from shell command line using something like python in package dots a package one dot module x, the underscore name underscore will still be underscore main underscore. So for instance in your example. If you imported module X, note, imported, not directly executed, its name would be package dot sub package one dot module X. If you imported module e, its name would be package dot module e. However, if you directly run module X from the command line, its name will instead be underscore main underscore, and if you directly run module E from the command line, its name will be underscore main underscore. When a module is run as the top level script, it loses its normal name and its name is instead underscore main underscore. Accessing a module not through its containing package, There is an additional wrinkle, 
the module's name depends on whether it was imported directly from the directory it is in or imported via a package. This only makes a difference if you run Python in a directory, and try to import a file in that same directory, or a subdirectory of it. For instance, if you start the Python interpreter in the directory package slash the package one and then do import module x, the name of module x will just be module x, and not package.sapackage one x This is because Python adds the current directory to its search path when the interpreter is entered interactively. If it finds the to be imported module in the current directory, it will not know that that directory is part of a package, and the package information will not become part of the module's name. A special case is if you run the interpreter interactively, for example, just type Python and start entering Python code on the fly. In this case, the name of that interactive session is underscore main underscore. Now here is the crucial thing for your error message. If a module's name has no dots, it is not considered to be part of a package. It doesn't matter where the file actually is on disk. All that matters is what its name is, and its name depends on how you loaded it. Now look at the quote you included in your question. Relative imports use a module's name attribute to determine that module's position in the package hierarchy. If the module's name does not contain any package information, for example it is set to main, then relative imports are resolved as if the module were a top-level module, regardless of where the module is actually located on the file system. Relative imports Relative imports use the module's name to determine where it is in a package. When you use a relative import like from dot dot import foo, the dots indicate to step up some number of levels in the package hierarchy. For instance, if your current module's name is package dot sub package one dot module x, then dot dot module would mean package dot module. For a from dot dot import to work, the module's name must have at least as many dots as there are in the import statement are only relative in a package. However, if your module's name is underscore main underscore, it is not considered to be in a package. Its name has no dots, and therefore you cannot use from dot dot import statements inside it. If you try to do so, you will get the relative import in non-package error. Scripts can't import relative. What you probably did is you tried to run module X or the like from the command line. When you did this, its name was set to underscore main underscore, which means that relative imports within it will fail, because its name does not reveal that it is in a package. Note that this will also happen if you run Python from the same directory where a module is, and then try to import that module, because, as described above, Python will find the module in the current directory too early without realizing it is part of a package. Also remember that when you run the interactive interpreter, the name of that interactive session is always underscore main underscore. Thus you cannot do relative imports directly from an interactive session. Relative imports are only for use within module files. Two solutions. If you really do want to run module X directly, but you still want it to be considered part of a package, you can do Python in package package one module X. The M tells Python to load it as a module, not as the top level script. Or perhaps you don't actually want to run module X, you just want to run some other script, say myfile.py, that uses functions inside module X. If that is the case, put myfile.py somewhere else, not inside the package directory, and run it. If inside myfile.py you do things like from package.moduli import spam, it will work fine. Notes For either of these solutions, the package directory, package in your example, must be accessible from the Python module search path, sys.path. If it is not, you will not be able to use anything in the package reliably at all. Since Python 2.6,
the module's name for package resolution purposes is determined not just by its underscore name underscore attributes but also by the underscore package underscore attribute. That's why I'm avoiding using the explicit symbol underscore name underscore to refer to the module's name. Since Python 2.6 a module's name is effectively underscore package underscore plus dot plus underscore name underscore, or just underscore name underscore if underscore package underscore is none. This is really a problem within Python. The origin of confusion is that people mistakenly takes the relative import as path relative which is not. For example when you write in fa.py. This has a meaning only if fa.py was identified and loaded by Python, during execution, as a part of a package. In that case, the module's name. For fa.py would be for example some underscore package name .fa. If the file was loaded just because it is in the current directory, when Python is run, then its name would not refer to any package and eventually relative import would fail. A simple solution to refer modules in the current directory, is to use this. There are too much, too long errors in a foreign language. So I'll try to make it short. If you write from dot import module, opposite to what you think, module will not be imported from current directory, but from the top level of your package. If you run PyFile as a script, it simply doesn't know where the top level is and thus refuses to work. If you start it like this pym package dot module from the directory above package, then Python knows where the top level is. That's very similar to Java, Java CP bin underscore directory package dot class. So after carping about this along with many others, I came across a note posted by Dorian B in this article that solved the specific problem I was having where I would develop modules and classes for use with a web service but I also want to be able to test them as I'm coding, using the debugger facilities in PyCharm. To run tests in a self-contained class, I would include the following at the end of my class file. But if I wanted to import other classes or modules in the same folder, I would then have to change all my import statements from relative notation to local references, i.e. remove the dot, but after reading Dorian's suggestion, I tried his one-liner and it worked. I can now test in PyCharm and leave my test code in place when I use the class in another class under test, or when I use it in my web service. The if statement checks to see if we're running this module as main or if it's being used in another module that's being tested as main. Perhaps this is obvious, but I offer this note here in case anyone else frustrated by the relative import issues above can make use of it. If you want to see more, Please consider subscribing.